What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today, we got another treat for you guys. Today I'm gonna show everybody out there what is in my day bag when I go day backpacking. Just for the day, not for any long hauls or anything. It's just a pretty small bag. I forgot how many liters this is, under 20. I think it's like maybe 14 liters or so. It's very good and uh, very durable. And I love this backpack itself. I'll show you more, more of it soon. And I'll link it in the description um, as well. I got this on Amazon. I definitely recommend it. All right, let's get to it. Let me show you what's in here and let me show you what I carry for my day hikes. All right, like I said, guys, the pack itself is, I believe, a 14 liter pack and it's an excellent pack. I'll link it in the description below. You got a little area here where you can put patches on, as you can see, and there's just so many pockets and it's just really, Convenient all in all, really comfortable. I'll show you what I have inside it. First of all, we're starting with the top. Here, I hope you guys can see. Top pocket here. I carry a little coffee that I grind at home. So it's just ground coffee. And it makes my back smell good too. But this is so I can have you know coffee wherever I need. What else is in here? This is all in the top pocket. I also carry with me, this is a fire steel. As you can see here, fire steel with a compass and also has like a little fire tinder here. And I would show you guys how to use it, but see the compass, a lot of people do know how to use a fire steel already, but, oops, sorry, you get the point. It's a fire steel. I usually use a knife. I usually use my, you know, one of my full tank knives, but that's how that works. So fire steel, coffee, let's see what else I have here in this small little pocket. That's it for the small little pocket. Let's see for the next pocket down we have in there. Here I carry, I don't know if you guys can see that, but hopefully, here let me get a better angle, hold on. Hopefully this is a better angle guys. So here I carry these little pouches. This usually I'll keep my like fly fishing stuff or like fishing for trout when I'm in the rivers. So it's a really cute little pouch and it matches the bag and it, you can also put um, flags on it. I actually have two, comes with two, so got one and two. What else do I have in here? In the zipper I have a little utensil set where I can use, uh, I'm missing the fork because that's at my house and I'm washing it because I used it recently, but there's also a fork and it's really cool. It has like a ruler, some tools and stuff like that. And I really like it, it's really high quality. I'll try to link it as in the description as well. I'll try to link whatever I can in the description if you guys wanna try them out for yourselves. But these are all tested by me and approved. They're all really good stuff. So if you want it, try them out. What else do I have in here? Hand sanitizer. Got some liquid gold right here. And then I have a whole bunch of alcohol pads. You can see alcohol wipes, alcohol pads. I also carry a lighter in here, a Bic lighter by Bic. So, and that's it for the small pocket. I don't really carry anything else in there. So that's it for the small pocket. Now let's get bigger. Let's get to the bigger. Let's get to the bigger pocket now. So you got these little straps. Just undoes like that. Sorry about that, guys. There we are, much better. So look at the zipper on this bag. It goes all the way through, which is really, really cool and convenient. Whoa. All right, let me show you what's in here. First of all, I have this coffee press. I would demonstrate it for you guys if you want. You know, I don't mind demonstrating how it works, but trust me, this thing is a lifesaver and it tastes really good. It actually tastes better than the coffee I make at home. So got a little cup here. This is for drinking. You press it. You put the coffee in here, put the coffee in there, you put the water in there as well, you press it like that, espresso into your cup, and you drink it, just like that. This is with the coffee that I make, so it tastes really good. I'll, I'll do a demonstration for you probably in another video, but take my word for it, it's really good. Okay, moving on, I carry a light jacket in here. This is a North Face jacket. I really like it because it packs down really light. 
and it's like just like a light jacket. This thing, this is excellent. Everybody should get either a life straw or a life straw bottle. I will definitely, one, at one point when I'm gonna be filming in the river, show you guys an example of how this works. Look at this filter. You can drink pretty much any body of water with this bottle. Just scoop up some water from any river or lake and you're good to drink. I'll definitely show you um, how it works one day when I'm, I'm in my backyard today, but one day when I'm on a river or a lake, I'll show you. Just scoop up the water and drink. This is a lifesaver. You don't have to carry water with you, bottles, extra weight, no bottles required. Just carry one of these and you'll be good. Excellent. Um, I just happen to have this in here, which is, you know, some food. This is three cheese chicken pasta. Very simple to make. Add hot water and you're done. You guys probably know what this is. So. Of course, I carry toilet paper. Oops. A little bit of TP. And then I got my first aid kit in here. Whoa, this thing is huge. I got this first aid kit. Hope you guys can see all that. What, it's more uh, like a survival kit and a first aid kit in one. I added this in here myself. This is a blister pack or a blister kit for if you have blisters. I added this to the med kit myself. But there's like a whole bunch of stuff here. There's a lot of survival things in here too. I got this on Amazon as well and I'll try to link it. Really good first aid pack for backpacking. All right, let's see what else I got in here. This little camping stove set. Really cool. Let me show you guys. So it looks like this. Once again, I bought this on Amazon. I should have named this video the Amazon to-go bag. But yeah, got this on Amazon as well. You got your little, all your stuff in here. If you guys can see that. Got the little stove in here. Got utensils in here. You got your your fire um your gas and a little stand it's really cool let me show you guys quickly how to use it so as you can see this is the stove it opens up like that really small portable lightweight and convenient to carry i use this a lot Ice fishing as well, so use this all around, see? All right, let me set it up and show you. One sec. I couldn't give you a warning, but I felt it. All right, guys, hope you can see it. It's here. And I set it up. So basically, you just take a pot, you put it on here and you're cooking. See there's a little uh, valve or a little gas regulator here. Turn it on, light it up. See that fire? You can probably hear it as well. Whoa, big flame. But yeah, this thing's awesome. Definitely recommend something light and portable like this. All right guys, and we're almost done with what's inside my day pack. Again, I don't really carry too heavy. It's just a day pack, so I try to carry light, you know, as I am carrying it around with me. And now this, I do not carry in my backpack. I carry this on my person. I just keep it in there so that I can put it on when I'm ready. But this does not usually go in my backpack. I'll show you what this is. So what this is, it's a utility belt with some bear mace and with probably my favorite, um, like a uh, one piece full tank knife that I own. So, and you, this goes around your waist. I'll show you guys in just a sec. All right, guys, see? It's a really thick, all purpose utility uh, belt. The belt itself is really cool. It's pretty heavy and heavy duty. This is my Gerber strong arm knife. I made a review on it earlier. One of my favorite knives made in the USA, Portland, US. Carbon steel, very good knife, very durable. Been through a lot with me. Then on the other side, I have some bear mace. You never know, right? You better be prepared. 
rather than unprepared and sorry. So, got to carry that with you, and I'm good to go. That's pretty much all that's in my bag, but you know, I also got this hatchet today. Maybe I'll make a little review, like a bonus bonus footage for you guys. I, I just picked this up today and I really like it. It's by East Wing, made in the USA. I don't know if you guys can see that, but here, sorry about that. I don't know if you guys can see or picked it up, but it says right there, East Wing, made in USA. It's a really awesome hatchet. Let me show you a quick review on it and how it chops. So stick around, I'll show you guys. All right guys, that's it for what's in my backpack. I hope you guys enjoyed that part of the video. In my day pack. Now I'll show you guys this East Wing beautiful hatchet that I just picked up today. This is leather, actually finished leather. This is not wood. This is a beautiful hatchet. All one piece, stainless steel. Let me show you guys. Hopefully the sun is not in the way, but here's the hatchet itself. It's all stainless steel. It's actually very beautiful. Almost a shame to, to use under these circumstances, but very sharp right out of the pack. And it says that the pouch is made in Taiwan. The sheath is made in Taiwan, not made in the USA, but the, which is fine. But the hatchet itself is a US made hatchet. So let's see how it works. Safety first. Back. And let me show you guys a little bit of how it works with the chopping. Hope you guys can see. Let me zoom in a bit. All right, hopefully that's better. Let me show you guys quickly. Let me go show you guys quickly. Here, let me get this fairly large piece of wood here. As you can see, it's a pretty big piece, so and it's still doing the trick here. As you can see, it really is a big piece, but it's pretty much done. That's the damage. It's a very big piece, and it's not really meant for that. But I'll just finish it off. Still does the trick. Of course, this is a very big piece of wood for a hatcher this size. Usually it's meant to do, you know, sticks like this big of that nature. So, if you're looking like, just to get firewood, this is perfect. And if you're looking to do anything this size, boom, done. Boom, done, you know. As opposed to breaking it by right hand, you know. Here's a bit, a larger piece. I'll show you guys. Works just fine. As you can see that, once again, I hope the angle is coming out good and I hope you guys can see everything I'm doing. But yeah, this hatchet is really good. I just thought I would review it since I just got it today. Hey, 
right, I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little video with what's inside my day bag and a little extended bonus footage with my new hatchet. Hope you guys did enjoy and please hit that like button, subscribe, and I will definitely make more videos. Take care.